It's time now for Upon Further Review, brought to you by Ogeechee Technical College, Education with Purpose, and by Dr. Lincoln Lippincott with the Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro. And now, here they are, Josh Aubrey and Nate Hirsch. And we're happy to welcome you into a brand new week of Upon Further Review, along with Josh, part of the Statesboro Herald's online team. This is Nate. We're up top of ERA Hirsch Real Estate Team, buying or selling real estate. Talk to the experts. They're downstairs at ERA Hirsch Real Estate Team. Well, it was a long Saturday of college football, and for most people who went to the games, they got wet. Talk about Georgia getting rained on Ugh. with their parade. Wow. Yeah, all those Georgia fans with all their, I don't know, I call it the Road Warrior outfits and painted all in red and just sad faces and it was mas a lot, mascara and it, running. Somebody, somebody posted a mass exodus of how it was once halftime hit. It was awful if you're a Georgia fan. And it wasn't much better for Georgia Tech, who was ahead 21-0. Oh and let that one get away. And they've lost three in a row, and both teams have tough games. We'll be talking about them later on with Tech uh, having to go to Clemson, who had a huge win yeah. against Notre Dame, and Georgia going to Tennessee, who so far has managed to find a way to lose three games. Yeah, they found some strange ways. They had two field goals in that one game that they missed both of them. And, you know, I, I would say Georgia at this moment, it's tough to go and play Tennessee this week because you'd think – they're already down. Yep. And now you got to go there. They got to go there. Though. But they still have, you know, realistically, their their hopes are still there. They still they're playing the SEC they're championship. Gonna, they're going to try to win the division. I'm worried about. It. They got to worry yep. about this in the next couple of weeks. Yep. And and go from there. So a lot of surprises in college football. Several teams got upset. UCLA, who looked like they were making the move to the top, and Ole Miss. <laughs> wow, not just beat, they, they were They've beat got the down. Sports Illustrated drinks, they were on the front, and Florida beats them. So, it was another typical college football weekend, Ohio State escaped, coming back How many end. times does that happen now? It's like a row, but you know what, it seems, seems like they did that last year. They did. It that, seems that, like there was a lot of times where you, you look was, up and they're playing a MAC team and they're losing, and then yep. in the fourth quarter they pull it out. So. Meanwhile, our Georgia Southern Eagles went on the them? road. Took a big lead, decided, oh, everybody stay with us for a while. We're going to make it exciting, right? They did. I mean, we were watching that one. We went to, uh, <laughs> I took Sloan. We met some friends and went to Wild Wing to watch the game. And it was looking really good. I, I get up. I, I went to the restroom, came back right after that interception pick <laughs> six. And I was like, I don't like the way this is going. No, but, you know, since everybody was complaining, Matt Breeder didn't get to carry the ball enough. So he came in and finally got a touchdown. And so did our, our friend Wesley Fields. Ramsby. And, and Rally Ramsby. Yeah, they all ran the ball plenty. Yeah. They got 400 yards rushing. Right. So and I do believe uh, Monroe, their uh, defense was saying, it's easy to stop the option. A lot of people say that, don't they? They do. How's that work now? Not too well. Almost 500 yards on the ground. So meanwhile, in the Sun Belt, South Alabama won at Troy 24-18. Lafayette got beat up at La Tech 43-14. We, we didn't have it on our picks, but we no, talked about that. We talked about La that. La Tech's pretty good. Yeah, and New Mexico State was ahead till the fourth quarter. I saw that. But lost to New Mexico 38-29. Now we know why they didn't want Liberty in the league because they're beating everybody. Last <laughs> year they beat Appalachian. This year they beat Georgia State 41-33. That should not be a surprise. Idaho had to play the backup quarterback. Linehan was hurt. Well, I didn't and know they that. scored 35 points but lost to Arkansas State 49-35. to App State in a driving rain uh, pulled away late and beat Wyoming 31-13. Your boys at Middle Tennessee had a great opportunity. Had, they had the game with Vandy and it was at MTSU and they let him off the hook. It's tough for me when those two play because I, yeah. I graduated from one. I know. And my I dad know. taught at the other. So. I know. Kind of like them both. All right, Major League Baseball playoffs actually begin this week without the Red Who's Sox. Who's in there? I don't know. Play, uh, wild card games. We don't care as much, do we, Nate? You know, I, I, it's good to see some new teams in there, though. The Houston Astros are playing Pirates. the Yankees. The Pirates, a lot of people think, may be as good a team. The problem is they got to beat the Arietta guy who's been as hot a pitcher for the Cubs. Yep. Max Scherzer, by the way. Pitched maybe two of the best games that's ever been thrown. Two no-hitters this year where he what, struck out 17 on Saturday. Yep. 
The Royals obviously await the wild card winner. The Rangers get in as a winner from the West. They'll play the Blue Jays. Mets play the Dodgers. And of course, the Cardinals are in there also. And I had a situation when I was doing the game on Friday night for Statesboro High. I had the coaches for coffee just to my right. So I knew all the plays. Hey. And you unfortunately, knew what to look for. And, and when they called the reverse, could you reel it down? Could you? Could you reel? That it? was the problem. On the air, I said, "I can't yell loud enough. <laughs> what do I do?" He goes, "I want the reverse, such and such." I said, "Here comes the reverse. Boom! Boom. Reverse touchdown." And I said, "I don't think there's any way. Number one, anybody can hear me." And, and we, even if they knew, Nate, we don't know if they could stop. Anyway, them. they actually played okay. Coffee. Twenty pretty points. Good. Offensively, yep. I thought Statesboro played pretty well. Uh, no good. turnovers. No, they did a lot of good things. Yeah. Okay, quick reminder, when you need legal advice in the Statesboro, Bullitt County area, we have the man for you to call on, and that is Lovett Bennett Jr., attorney at Law PC, Lovett's office located in downtown Statesboro. Georgia Southern with an open date this week, but the university store reminds you, you want to pick up any of the gear? They've got it all. We've got all the shirts here. Shirts. Here's got here's plenty shirts. to look at. And they actually will have a home game again, a week from Saturday. Yeah, New and Mexico. then two Thursdays in a row. Oh, well, that's one at home, <laughs> one on the road. We'll talk more about that. All right, we'll have those Georgia Southern highlights and more coming up next on Upon Further Review. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 6,000 off new Camrys or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Do you ever wonder what that 15% savings cost you in service? What's your name on the account? My name is Mary. M-A-R-Y. Who is this? Mary. Oh, My okay. name is Mary. Right. Are you even listening to me? Sure. At Glenn Davis Insurance, we get to know you as a person. To us, you're not just another number. Together with Auto Owners Insurance, we can develop an insurance plan tailored to your specific needs. Glenn Davis & Associates. Call or come by today. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 5000 off the new Prius or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Well, Josh, the Eagles went to Monroe, jumped out early, another big block punt, and a lot more happened after that. Let's get right out and see some highlights and hear from Coach and a couple of the players. The Georgia Southern Eagles on the road at Louisiana Monroe, hoping to stay unbeaten in conference play. Pick things up early on. Special teams coming through as Ironhead Gallon with the block punt. Scooped up by Kim Butler for the touchdown, and the Eagles take a 7-0 lead. A little later, still in the first, Alex Hanks with a 29-yard field goal, making it 10-0. To, to the second we go, and the give to Matt Breida. 13 yards for the score, and it's 17-0 Georgia Southern. Eagle defense holding the Warhawks in check throughout in the first half, and then big play here. Fabian Upshaw in at quarterback, and he scampers off for the 45-yard run just shy of the goal line. That would lead to a one-yard touchdown run here as the give goes to L.A. Ramsby and the Georgia Southern Eagles with a 24-3 lead. They weren't done yet. Kevin Ellison going to the air. A nice grab by Keegan Williams. That would set up another short touchdown run. This time Wesley Fields, and it's 31-3. They take a 31-10 halftime lead to the second half we go. L.A. Ramsby off to the races for a while, gets deep into Warhawk territory. The Warhawks having their trouble here as the pass deflected into the arms of Matt Dobson for the interception. We're from Georgia Southern. Eagles pounding it out on the ground after the Warhawks got within a touchdown. It's L.A. Ramsby with a 41-yard score to make it 38-24. Next up, the give to Matt Breida. He's around for the six-yard touchdown to make it 45-24. And for the finishing touch, we go to Wesley Fields, a four-yard run. Ramsby with 98 yards on the ground. Breda, 149. Wesley Fields with 92. The Eagles with 455 as a team, and they roll in 51-31. Some really good drives. 
I thought Wesley Fields looked great there at the end. Elliott Ransby had a real big fourth and one run, and then, you know, Matt Breida, when we needed him there, he had that, you know, change the field. And, you know, and all that doesn't happen without a great job by the offensive line and the uh, wide receivers and the tight ends. I'm just glad that our guys, you know, we had some adversity and our guys were able to bounce back from it and finish the game. You know, sometimes we needed the defense. We got some plays by the defense. Sometimes we need the offense to make a play, and they made a play. So that's good uh, team football. It's always big when we come on the road in our conference play and, and pick up a win. Uh, didn't play well at times. Played a, played a good first half, and then they got a little momentum. But we were able to, to counter that momentum, and they're late in the uh, third quarter, early in the fourth. And uh, any road, any road win in the conference is big. But we just we just executed, executed everything we ran all week, and it came and it worked. And we put our 51 points on the board. Well, they off week bye week comes at a good time I would imagine you know you don't want it to be the first or second week actually I guess we have two this yeah, year two, right? yeah, there's two bye weeks this is the first of two but it yeah. comes after five weeks and we're, we're a little banged up and two road games you you want a little yeah. rest and good then you get home yep. De definitely a good time for that all right there was lots of high school action over the weekend those highlights and more coming up next the clubhouse in Statesboro southeast Georgia's best place to play Clubhouse in Statesboro, where fun is done. The Medical Center Pharmacy on Grenade Street is proud to be your Health Mart Pharmacy in Statesboro. The Medical Center Pharmacy, locally owned and serving this community for 50 years, is open 364 days a year. The pharmacists at Medical Center know there's nothing more important than your family's well-being. That's why they take the time to know their customers, explain their medications, and answer any questions. The Medical Center Pharmacy, your Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Time now for our high school highlights presented by Ogeechee Technical College. We'll look at some of the games from over the weekend after we take a look at this from OTC. Technical College, it's not what you think. Ogeechee Technical College is not your parents' trade school. I bet you didn't know that Ogeechee Tech's affordable tuition means you get lifelong return for a short-term investment. Our job placement rate is over 90% and that our faculty are not just educated, but they have real-world experience and offer current and relevant courses. We are a first choice that can guarantee your education. Ogeechee Technical College, it's not what you think. Well, Josh, we had three teams at home on Friday night, and we had lots of highlights to show people. That's right, and one on the road, and it's pretty good success with Southeast Bullock and Portal picking up their first win. Statesboro High played well, not quite enough to get it done. Let's get out and see some highlights. The Southeast Bullock Yellow Jackets opening up subregion play, hosting Beach at Fred Shaver Field. The defense steps up early. Devon Lee with the hit right here. The Jackets waste no time getting on the boards offensively as Cecil McCollum will break free out of the pack and he goes 40 yards for the touchdown. And it's 7-0 Yellow Jackets. More from the Jacket D again. It's Devon Lee with the hit in the backfield. And even more as the beach offense under pursuit all night long here. Ryan Rocks with the pressure. Back to the offense we go and another heavy dose of Chase Walker here for 12 yards and a first down. Then from the 10, Walker gets the call and he'll go in for the first of two touchdowns for him on the game. It's 14-0 after one quarter of play. We move to the second quarter and it's more of the same. The Jackets swarming the Bulldogs. Joseph Anderson among those on the hit. On offense, Jalen Wells goes to the air and he finds Clay Carter for a first down. Then it's Wells looking deep for McCollum who catches a break as the defender falls down. This one 44 yard touchdown, it's 21 nothing Jackets. Then for the finishing touch, how about the coach's son getting in on the fun? Tyler Collins lined up at tight end from Caleb Carter and Southeast wins 42-7. 
at Statesboro High, the Blue Devil fans, knowing they were in for a fight with number eight ranked Coffee County. The Trojans start the scoring. Thomas Spencer from the six, six to nothing, still in the first. And from the five, the give to Demetrius Davis. He's in, and it's 13 to nothing quickly. Coffee County on top. The Blue Devils not going away. In the second, the give to Malin Williams. He's done this a lot this year. He's gone 75 yards for the touchdown, and the lead cut to 13 to seven. The Blue Devils special teams helping out a little later, coming up with the block punt here. Statesboro takes over an excellent field position, and not surprisingly, on offense, the gift to Malin Williams, who gets to the corner of the end zone. Statesboro grabs a 14-13 lead late in the second quarter, but Coffey able to move downfield just before the half. Max Hughes finds Thomas Spencer. Coffey up 19-14 at the half. Second half, Statesboro looking to fly high. Instead, it's the Trojans extending their lead. Hughes, the pinpoint precision on the pass to Jarvis Williams to make it 26-14 in the fourth quarter. Early on, Demetrius Davis gets the call. Again, from three yards out, 33-14. Statesboro not giving up. The give to Malin Williams, he'd finish with 178 yards rushing on 34 carries. He capped the drive with his third score of the game, but it wasn't enough. Statesboro falls 39 to 20. Homecoming for the Portal Panthers. The Panthers still searching for win number one, hosting Claxton in a region matchup. They'd waste no time scoring. The opening kickoff here, Malik Williams showing no ill effect from last week's injury as he goes 90 yards for the touchdown and Portal takes a 6-0 lead. The defense playing solid throughout the game. Here, Darius Huff with the hit for a loss. Huff getting it done on both sides of the ball. This time from the 30, he's gone 70 yards for the score. The extra point was good, and it's 13 to nothing. Portal. Claxton able to get back on the board here, get in the game. Quarterback sneak by Austin Beasley to make it 13-7 to the second quarter we go. And this ball tipped off the foot of Connor Washington into the arms of Jacob Hilo. Unfortunately, the refs blew the ball dead. No problem, though. Portal scores. A little later on the sneak by Jake Brown to make it 20 to seven. That score holds up through halftime. At the half, homecoming queen Nikki Oglesby and her court honored. Second half, more problems for Beasley. This time he is picked off at midfield by Carvel McNeil. The offense unable to capitalize, so the defense comes up with another turnover. This time it's Colton Bishop with the recovery. And that would lead to Darius Huff's second score of the game as Portal wins their first of the season, 27 to seven. All right, Nathan, one game we don't have highlights of. VA went to Brentwood and came out with a victory. Yeah. That's all we need to say. So they've only got one loss on the year. This week, a rare Thursday night matchup for Statesboro High at Richmond Hill. Meanwhile, we have Southeast Bullock Portal, NBA, all at home, Savannah Country Day, um, Savannah Portal. High School coming to SED, yeah. and Edmund Burke coming to BA. And remember, the States per game, if you're going, kicks off at 7 o'clock. That's right. The TV doesn't start till There's a 30-minute delay. Uh, a little there. bit later. Quick reminder, the flu shots are in at Family Internal Medicine, located in the Cotton Ridge Plaza. That's Dr. Sergio Dalsania, the staff reminding you to stop on by get your flu shots for this year at Family Internal Medicine. Our pick segments are coming up. Jen Hirsch up next on Upon Further Review. <coughs> tired of being tired? Do you start and end the day completely worn out? You may have obstructive sleep apnea. Dr. Lippincott at the Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro can give you an evaluation and explain the new non-invasive procedure that has helped so many in our area. Call for an appointment or be on the lookout for one of our free seminars. The Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro, part of Statesboro ENT, 
120 South Zetterauer Avenue. We know how important your family is to you, which is why family medicine is so important to us. At TRICARE Family Medicine, we'll see that your family is in the best possible health. We offer a fun and friendly environment and are now accepting new pediatric and adult patients. Come experience the difference today. Let our family take care of your family at TRICARE Family Medicine, the official family practice of Georgia Southern Athletics. All right, time now for Jen Hirsch's picks. Ready to go. She had another good week By last the way, week. Can we tell everybody who I'm, who's my sponsor? We sure can. Lee Hill and Johnston Insurance. But let's go to the big games. Georgia lost last week. We know that. They go to Tennessee to play the Rocky Toppers. Tennessee getting three at home, and you like? Tennessee. All right. Georgia Tech stumbled last week. They get eight going to Clemson. You say? Clemson. Mm-hmm. Jeff Munkin's Army team played well but lost to Penn State last week. They get 12 Army. at home against Duke. Okay, you got to wait till I say the other team. Okay. You're still taking <laughs> Army. All right. You remember how we did this show? App yes. State is at Georgia State. Georgia State getting 17. Georgia you, State. Georgia State, huh? Miami, the Hurricanes get nine at Florida State, and you like? Miami. Okay. Let's go to the NFL. Let's go. Washington is at Atlanta. Washington getting nine. Washington. Taking the points against the undefeated Falcons. St. Louis gets 10 at Green Bay. And you say? St. Louis. Mm -hmm. New England and the Brady Bunch go down to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Cowboys getting nine at home. And you say? Dallas Cowboys. You did say that. <laughs> Denver's at Oakland. The Raiders, who lost on Sunday, get six at home. And you like? Oakland. All right. And then Philadelphia, who lost last week at the end. We'll play New Orleans. Saints won their first game. They get five, and you like? New Orleans. All right. You're sure about those picks? <laughs> yes. All right. Those are Jen's picks. Josh and I'll be back to make ours. That's next on Upon Further Review. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 6000 off new Camrys or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Lee Hill and Johnston Insurers. We've been Statesboro's insurance people since 1963. That's a lot of memories. Recognized as one of the leading agencies in Georgia, Lee Hill and Johnston is independent and offers a complete line of personal and business insurance for auto, life, home, and health. We'll shop companies to find the lowest premiums and best coverage for you, your family, or your business. Lee Hill and Johnston Insurers, the insurance people since 1963. It's 2015 model sell-off at Franklin Toyota. Now is your best time to buy because every 2015 model must be sold. At Franklin Toyota, save up to 5000 off the new Prius or get zero APR for 72 months. Find it today at Franklin Toyota in Statesboro. Well, Josh, we're both struggling, and uh, Jennifer obviously has the lead. Let's not talk too much about Taking that. Taking off. All right, George is at Tennessee. Tennessee gets three at home. That's weird, isn't it? Oy. Getting three at home, and I, you know what? I'm going with the balls. I don't know. I think there might be a hangover for you. I'm going to take Georgia to somehow chub it back. All right. Georgia Tech gets eight at Clemson, and Paul's got problems right now. Three in a row. Could be four in a row. I don't know. I, I keep taking them, and it hasn't worked, but I'm going to do it one more time. Georgia Tech to cover. I'm going to take Clemson. I know they're coming off a big, big win. And I just have a feeling they've got better athletes. Okay. All right. I watched Army play Penn State pretty tough. In yeah, fact, they, yeah. right after Coach Munkin shook hands with James Franklin, Stuart Carter's out there to hug Coach Munkin, our former equipment manager. Yes, he is. I'm sure Penn Rose State. Carter was on the on right, hand. Right well. behind also. Yep. Army getting 12 at home against Duke. What do you think? I'm going to no. Duke played. Duke's undefeated. Yeah, in the I was going to say Duke, Duke played Georgia. They're know, four and one. They've yeah. already beat Georgia Tech. They beat Georgia Tech. I, I'm going to say Army can keep it close, not win. The fact that they've already played Georgia Tech might help them a little bit in this game. What do you think? I'm taking Duke you to find a way to. 
All right. To get it done. Big one in the Sun Belt, in the Dome. Georgia State only getting 17. That's it. Against those Appalachian State Mountaineers. Not enough. App State rolls. I'm going with App State, too. I think they can beat them by at least 20. Yeah. All right. The Miami Hurricanes stubbed their toe the other night. Yeah, they did. Right? They lost that game. Cincinnati beat them, right? right? They had a big turnover. They get nine on the road. Florida State lost one of their better players, I thought, during the game. Cook is out, I think. Is that a running back? The, yeah, the top yeah, running that's back. That's what I thought. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take my Miami with the points. Going, not to win. going with the Hurricanes as well, Nate. All right, let's try the NFL, which we have not done as well as we'd like. The Redskins now are next up for the Falcons. Can you believe the Falcons? Undefeated. Giving nine. Do you see what they did this past It was Sunday? 42 to nothing. Yeah, Nate. They're on a roll. But just when you think, <laughs> they don't do this. What do you think? I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not saying they're going to win, but I'm taking the Redskins to cover the game. All right, I'll take the Falcons at least to win by 10. All right. Now, this is where I was surprised. Again, Green Bay's defense is playing even better than I thought. St. Louis's defense played pretty well. St. Louis getting 10 at Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers. Hey, I ran to the smell last week, and the smell didn't help me. No, you didn't. This game smells bad. Like, it, you want to take, you want to take St. Louis right. very bad. Yes. I'm going to still go with my... Old run to the smell, and I'm going to take Green Bay. All right. I'm going to take St. Louis. They found the running back finally, Todd Gurley. <laughs> Todd Gurley, yeah. and, he, and he knew when to not take score. Take a knee, yeah. How about that? Or fall on his butt, I guess. Not to win, you know. The pack. You're, you're, you're taking them to cover. Just them I'm to taking cover. Green Bay to cover. All right. The Patriots, who seem like they haven't played for a week or so. Well, they were off. That's why. Yep. All right. So they had the open date early. Dallas gets nine. You know home. what? I think this one could get ugly, Nate. Because you give Belichick an extra week to prepare for Brandon Whedon, come on. Come on. How is it only nine? I know. They found a way to lose the game Sunday night, too. They did. All right, Oakland's getting six this weekend at home. They managed to lose the game right at the end of the Bears. Denver pulled it out against the Vikings. They find a way. Peyton can just... Just shot put it ahead. Hey, I'm going to take o- Oakland with the points. Denver's defense has stepped up in big spots, too. Yeah. I'm taking Denver. All right, Philadelphia, maybe one of the bigger disappointments so far, you one think? and three. <laughs> yeah. New Orleans is coming into Philly getting five. Is this the week Philly gets going? I'm going to take the Eagles to Yeah, win. so am I. All take right. the Eagles. You know what I watched the other day? Invincible. So that's a – I have to take them. I watched Invincible the other day. Okay. Great, great, great movie, by the way. I understand. Those are our picks. They're all in fun. Georgia Southern's off this week. You can watch other people play. We can relax. We have plenty of high school home action to cover. We'll have those highlights when we see you next time on Upon Further Review. Join us again next time for Upon Further Review, brought to you in part by Ogeechee Technical College, Education with Purpose and by Dr. Lincoln Lippincott with the Sleep Apnea Center in Statesboro.